guys welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos and if you're returning welcome back so today's video is going to be about um, my Sephora VIB sale it was actually from the 11th to the 14th I believe so I'm not really sure when this video is going to be up so be sure you grab yourself a cup of Starbucks or any tea sit back relax and let's just go ahead and jump in so this year I made a list, did very, very proud of myself. I made a list, went to Sephora, and only bought what was on my list, which was amazing for me. So this is what the holiday bags look like, and they're just really cute with rhinestones and um, reindeer. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling out everything that I bought. Some things were things that I ran out of, and others were, well, most of the stuff that I got was things that I was just wanting to try. So the first thing that I got was the Tarte Maracuja Oil. And I got this because I heard Jaclyn Hill talking about she added it to her, her um, foundation and it just gives you that airbrush look. So I actually wanted to try it. I actually used this in a video already and I really, really like how it came out. And this is just what it looks like. It comes with a little droplet of prices. The next thing that I got was something that I actually have been eyeing for a very long time. But every time I went into Sephora, it was sold out. And this is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick and the color 1993. And I'm actually wearing it today. And I just lined it with a NYX um, Espresso Lip Liner. Perfect nude shade for brown skin girls. And it just looks like that next thing I got was from Kat Von D and I just got like a little um Christmas holiday um set and the reason I actually got this was the for the eyeliner that's what I got it for because I heard really good things about this eyeliner and it, it came with so this is what it looks like and this is the ink liner and it's waterproof with a felt tip and it comes with um, her liquid lipstick in Bow and Arrow, which is a color that I've been wanting to try. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this. The next thing that I picked up is this um, Beauty Elixir. And it's just a spray and you just spray it before your foundation. And it has, um, I think, 10 karat or 15 karat gold in it. And it's just supposed to make your face like really illumination illuminated. Next, I got these two things from Anastasia Beverly Hills and they're actually the same thing it's her liquid lipsticks in the color sepia and it's more of just a great undertone and I got this to actually include it in a giveaway and then I really wanted to try the Sephora favorites um the little packages that they make it every single year because I've heard really good things about it so I got the Sephora favorites um glow for it and this is just the highlighters and it comes with six highlighters Highlighter. and it just looks like this it's all pretty so it comes with the benefit um what's up and I actually have this and I really like it it comes with a Lancome glow highlighter I'm gonna try that it's Becca shimmering skin perfecter the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops. I've actually been wanting to try these. And this is one of the main reasons why I bought this. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Highlighter. I've heard such great, great reviews about this. You guys can just see the pigmentation. Last but not least, it comes with the Milk uh, Makeup Sunshine Oil. I got another Sephora Favorites, and this is a Sephora Favorites um, Give Me Some Bold Lips, and it comes with six lip products, and it just looks like that. So the first thing it comes with is, is um, Kat, Von, Kat Von D Damped, and it's just a really dark plum color. It comes with, um, I cannot say this name, so I'm just going to go ahead and have it down here. Um, London liquid velvet and it's just a hot pink comes with a tartus lip on it but it's just like a bright purple color next it comes with a mini Sephora lipstick in the color 6007C and it's just a red and the last thing it comes with is a bite lipstick and just like more of a pencil and it comes in the color 
Let me know if you guys want to see any swatches of this and I'll go ahead and put the swatches on my Instagram. My Instagram name will be down in the description box below. Next I got the Bosha uh, Detoxifying Black Cleanser and I just got the travel size because I just have heard really good things about it and I've been wanting to try it. And it just looks like this. It's just like a um, black cleanser. I have really sensitive skin so it's really hard for me to try some of the um, face products. And this was one of the things that was actually on my wish list for the last year, but I just couldn't get myself to go and spend that like $46 on a highlighter when I already have so many highlighters. So this is the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the color Bronzed Glow. And I swatched this in the store. This highlighter is everything. It's just this beautiful gold color. This is one swatch. Look at that. Oh, that's just beautiful. I cannot wait to play with it. Next is a skincare product, and this is the Glam Glow um, Dream Duo Overnight Transforming um, Treatment. It says, wake up, make up ready. And I actually got this because I've been using the Glam Glow um, cleanse, I mean the clay mask, and I'll have the name of it down in the description box or somewhere on the screen. And I really like it, so I just went ahead and decided to splurge because this is the perfect time. Everything you'll be getting 20% off, and it just looks like that. I asked, I love the packaging of the Glam Glow products. And this one actually has two masks in one. As a gray one and like more of a, it's like a step one and a step two mask. So I cannot wait to try this product. Next, we have the famous Modern Renaissance palette. Now, the reason I went ahead and I got this palette actually is because I already have two of her palettes. I have the Self Made palette and the Mario Master palette. And I love the pigmentation on both of those things, and I've heard nothing but great things on the Modern Renaissance palette. And this is by Anastasia. And this is, these are the colors. Oh, those colors are just absolutely beautiful. They're perfect for fall. I just cannot wait to do a look on them. Next, we have a um, NARS Velvet Lip Glide. And it just looks like this. So I was looking for a true brown lip color and the girl at Sephora actually recommended this. And once I got home and I swatched it, um, I don't think I'll be keeping this because even though it just looks very pigmented, it's more of like a gloss and it doesn't have that matte finish. So it actually rubs off very, very quickly. You know, I put it on, I had it on for about 30 minutes and it was like starting to rub off and I don't really like that. So I actually might be returning that. I've been wanting to try a new foundation, so I decided to just go ahead and it was between Bobbi Brown, the Dior, and the YSL. So once I went into the store, the Bobbi Brown didn't have my color, um, the Dior, I just wasn't really feeling it. So I went ahead and decided to get the YSL Radiance Awakening Foundation, and my color is B70 in Mocha. And it just looks like this, pretty gold packaging. So it literally, it looked very full coverage, and so we'll see. It has sun, it has sunscreen uh, spectrum SPF 22. So we'll go ahead and see about that. And I believe we're getting down to the last three products. So one of the things I got was the, um, the Spashbox um, lipsticks in the color coffee one. It's just more of a brown, beautiful color. And it just looks like this, more of a chocolate brown color. And I also got the um, Tarte um, mascara, Lash Paint mascara. And I actually had a sample of this, so I really, really like this. So I just went ahead and got the full size on um, the full size. And the last thing that I got was from Sephora from um, the actually Sephora brand and this is the Z palette and I just got the small one because I have a few um, blushes and eyeshadows that are just single so I just decided to just go ahead and um, put them in here and this will be great for travel if I don't want to take a big palette. 
And that's it for my Sephora VIB haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to see any swatches or, you know, anything about any of the products that I bought. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my Instagram because I'm going to be having swatches and everything all in there. Thank you. Until next time.